Hi, welcome to a cool windy day in Chesterfield and it's D-Day today, it's day three of the window install and the glass has arrived. I'm just waiting for my eldest to come and give me a hand to lift it in and get it in place. As you can see as you look around the pond, all the bits and bobs, all the pieces of equipment are at arm's length from where I think we're going to need them, so hopefully things will go nice and smooth. The glass arrived from Tufex bang on time when they said they were going to deliver it and it does weigh 60 kilos, well 59.9 kilos, so 60 kilos. I've got some window suckers and I've got a strong lad to help me so hopefully it should go as easy as the rest of the installs gone. So I've got a couple of cameras set up hopefully to catch the install from the CCTV to the GoPro in the corner to this one at the back of the pond. So sit back and enjoy and hopefully fingers crossed everything will go well. First thing was to just get used to the glass and uh, familiarise ourselves with the plan of action. First thing was to lift it into place dry just to make sure that the clearances were fine, the levels were fine and everything was ready for when we added the sealant. We then got all the sealants ready and two grease guns so that way we wasn't wasting any time waiting to change the air salt sealant and uh, giving the chance for the sealant to start skinning over. Just in case everyone needs to know, I used PU18 to seal the glass to the breeze block. As I was panicking about getting enough sealant in, I opened up about six tubes and prepped them all ready and started sealing around the frame with a very, very thick bead, uh, about probably 10, 15 mil wide, about 10 to 20 mil deep. And then I started a second bead along the side of that. And then went to the other side and along the bottom all ready for, for the lift and then realised that uh, I'd, uh, we'd not cleaned the, the glass first. I'd got some uh, spray bottles with dilute isopropanol in there so quickly sprayed around the edge of the glass, wiped it down with the cloth to make sure it was clean, dust free and ready for the sealant. And then came the big all important lift. First part was to lift it up into the frame and then sort of just shuffle it about a bit to spread the sealant and then try and create a 5 to 10 mil space all the way around with some spaces that we put in to allow us to seal it afterwards. While my trusty assistant held the glass up, I put the spacers in this side and then added the uh, ratchet clamps to the top just to uh, keep it square to the frame. Because of the uh, amount of sealant in there, it did squeeze it out through both sides and we had to be careful not to get it too close to the brick breeze block wall, so we had got a five mill uh, cushion of sealant between the glass and the breeze block. The top part of the glass was secure, it was time to apply the Eco props to the bottom part to try and keep it square and just put enough pressure on it to hold it in place without letting it slip and let the sealant uh, spread and secure it to the wall. Check to the spirit level to make sure that the glass was square and uh, in the right place and then uh, it was a matter of uh, tidying up the sealant. After listening to advice of a few other people that had fitted windows, they all said use plenty of sealant, use plenty of sealant. So the next probably hour was spent smoothing off the sealant with some warm soapy water and a finger and just removing the excessive amount that's squashed out too far and cleaning it up before it had chance to dry. My eldest spent probably a good hour just touching it up and uh, cleaning it up to make sure that it was fine and then he also added 
uh, an extra bead between the glass and the spacers all the way around just to, to just to, well just to finish it off to be fair and it was a matter of leaving everything in place for 24 hours for it to go off just over 24 hours later I got the gold label out and started going around the last two three inch of the glass so I could then attach the liner to it. Got a bit hot so I took the shirt off so please forgive the uh, excess skin and fat on show. I continued doing a solid bead all the way around the uh, three sides of the glass and then I went back and did a second bead just to immediate side of it and continued that all the way around. I think in total I managed with three good beads all the way around and then gently patting the liner onto the sealant at the back of the glass. Just pressing it enough to stick the liner to the sealant but not enough to start pushing it out or squeezing it out. Once it had started going tacky I then started a second uh, bead of sealant around the inside of the lip. Then it was back to the spring cleaning chores of power washing the inside of the liner. There was a lot of dry scale on there but also there's a bit of uh, sawdust from the cutting the blocks and other bit of natural debris that had blown in so it was a matter of power washing it out, sweeping it down the drain and pumping it out. I'm getting it clean best I can. I'm going to start topping it up so it can flatten the liner inside. And I'm going to pump some a bit more of it out and then let it top up once I've finished sealing the, the window. The next part was to replace the copings on the top of the pond. I want to try and keep it symmetrical so I had two whole ones at the front and then cut another two on the side to fill the gap on there. Hand mix the mortar, applied it best I could with the trowel as I'm not a brick layer in any way shape or form so I did too bad a job and uh, didn't drop too much of it into the pond. Having said that, I did drop the spirit level into the bottom of the pond. That's the uh, pond filling up. You can see where I've coated in the copings. And this bit here, what I'm going to do is either some Indian stone paving down there or some tiles across to finish it off. That's trickling in about two litres a minute. It's about 72 hours for the whole lot to fill up, but all I'm going to do is fill it up half full, get a sweet round, pump it out, and pump it back, fill it half or full again, and then pump the water from the holding tank into here as well. And we'll finish soon. So just as I wanted a nice smooth flat liner to the glass.
thanks a lot for watching the video as you can see the fish are back in place and the back is uh, back in place and everything seems to be working and running as it should there's a bit of foam on top of the water which is uh, the filter gel that I've put into the filter Oasi filter house and also into the backy just to give it a bit of help while I slowly feed them and whilst monitoring the ammonia and nitrite levels as you can see it's uh, made a massive difference to the uh, uh, to the look of the pond and hopefully over the next couple of weeks I can then uh, do some cladding on the walls and tidy up around the hole to make it look uh, even better but at the moment I just can't get over the impact it's made uh, I sit in the conservatory just looking at the fish it's like it's like watching the telly in the garden to be honest I re really recommend it a lot of people don't like uh, windows in koi pond because originally koi was bred or koi were bred for their colours and their uh, patterns etc looking at them from above but I like to look at the fish swimming around to make sure they look all right, uh, they're okay and healthy as such and the window is something that I've always wanted to put in once I uh, did the last upbuild, uh, upgrade. So now it's up and running, it's there, as you can see the koi are, uh, are liking it, it's giving them something to look at as well and I'm really really uh, glad I did it. If anyone wants any information about a window or the fitting or the supply or anything please check out the description below because all the contacts and all the links are in there. If you've got any questions, write them in the comments. If you like the video, please hit the like button, smash the subscribe button and check out some more videos. I can finally say that the covers are off and the koi season has started. Thanks a lot for watching. Happy ponding.